Well, hey, everybody. Welcome to another show. You ought to know. I'm Jim Hall. Nice to have you along. And here we are. We're at a shopping center. Of course, this is PetSmart. And why are we at PetSmart today? Well, you're going to find out about that because there's some things that you ought to know. We have a PetSmart in the Victor Valley, but we're not in the Victor Valley for this particular show. We're on the corner of Whittier Boulevard and Santa Gertrudis where there's something special right here at this PetSmart. And we're going to talk about that on this show. By the way, we look forward to your comments on this show. You can email us at odysseytv at aol.com. That's odysseytv at aol.com. Or call us with your comments, suggestions, or places you'd like to see us go at 760-245-1950. Stick around, everybody, because there's something that you ought to know. Welcome back everybody, Jim Hall, you ought to know, and we have left the high desert area. We're actually at the corner of Whittier Boulevard in Santa Gertrudis, and actually I know this community, I grew up here. But why are we here? And you saw as we opened the show, we're at PetSmart. But more than that, we're at the PetSmart Hotel, Pets Hotel actually. With me is our manager, Judy and Cindy, both here. Welcome to the show, you Thank ought you. to know. Thank you. And I told you we had to come do this show, number one. Uh, kind of self-serving. I actually have animals that are checking in here in just a matter of a couple of days. But more than that, I was so impressed by the way uh, and, and what I found, uh, I'm kind of finicky. In fact, our dog, uh, Corky, uh, the show that we're doing here and a couple of our other shows on the channel are actually Corky Productions. And they are opened by Corky, which is a Yorkshire Terrier. In fact, this is for his, he's getting a suite here. So this is for his suite, and there's his star with his picture on it. So we'll be addressing that later. We're going to put that on a door today, so you'll see that. But Corky uh, is one of the family members, as most pets are with, with most of the clientele that you have, I'm sure. Yes, it is. And so I've looked at all the places uh, in our area, San Bernardino County, uh, parts of L.A. County, and I made a decision to come here because I'm so impressed with what this is. What is this? Uh, it's a place where we offer total lifetime care. Total lifetime total care? Total lifetime care for the pet. What does that mean? How do you define that? From the time that they're born to the time that they leave, this is what PetSmart is. We have every service that you can imagine here. All right, let's get some background uh, behind us, and we're gonna go in the hotel, and we're gonna look around, and we're actually gonna see how what the process is. Because okay. I'll get to know when I bring Corky, and uh, there's actually another one of our dogs coming. Uh, when they check in what that process is like and show some of our viewers what it's like because simply our show is called you ought to know and they ought to know because this is fantastic Thank first you. off judy how long have you been with PetSmart, or what's your background i have been with PetSmart almost uh going on 10 years and you started where i started as a cashier in what city in brea okay uh this is my first retail job i've ever had in my whole life but i I will retire from here. This is a wonderful company. I believe in everything that they do, especially for the pets. What? Because the pets are a family. Well, they are. Yes. They're family members. Do you have pets at home? Oh, yes. I have four cats and I have a dog now. Okay. Cindy, what about you? How'd you get started and how long have you been with PetSmart? I've been with PetSmart for like a year and a half. I've always been in the pet industry since I was 18 out of high school. I had my own pet sitting business for a while for six years and I moved up to Mammoth for a year, came back down and decided to come back into the pet industry, especially when the Pets Hotel opened. Thought it'd be the same or similar to what I'd already done. Well, what do you uh, both find unique about this situation? And am I wrong? Is this overly impressive to me? Am I that easy to impress? Or is there something really different and unique here? It's different. Because everyone that works in this store cares for those pets as if they were their own. And that's different. You can go to any other place and they're not going to get this care. We all love pets. Well, people, They're all going to be spoiled. Well, and, and people watching us haven't been, we haven't gone through the red doors mm -hmm. yet. Because when we go through, it's like checking, it, it looks like a hotel lobby. And exactly. they're going to see that in just a few minutes. Exactly. But more than that, uh, like I told you, I've looked at places. And uh, Cindy, we talked about with people that had small little runs where my dog would have been half outdoors, half indoors. Mm -hmm. And in our area, it's 106 degrees in the daytime. And if it's in a winter season, we actually went to Paris in, in a month of February. 
so our temperatures go down to 17 degrees at night. He had a little bit of escape indoors for about two and a half feet, and that was it. Mm. Um, so I couldn't do that to him. Yeah. So. Now, this is all climate controlled. Everything back there is set to a specific temperature, so it, no matter if it's hot or cold, it's set to it's about 78, 75 there. So we always keep it cool in the back. And there's ventilation is separated cats and dogs, so the cats don't notice that the dogs are back there, and uh, the dogs don't know that the cats are back there either. Well, this store, we were talking about how many stores there are that actually are doing what's called the Pets Hotel. Mm -hmm. um, to me, it's a new concept. I happened to come across it accidentally, but I'm always in Whittier and Brea. Mm -hmm. And I've been to both Brea and here, and actually we were looking for a specific thing for our dog. And we're going to show that to the people later. They're not going to believe I'm doing this, but we are. Uh, but it's, it's uh, unique. I really liked it. But the, uh, the whole thing is, you were telling me this store is actually, or, or this Pets Hotel is actually number 51, is that right? This is number 51 that's been opened. In Orange County, we are number three. We, ju we, oh, we now are up to four uh, Pets Hotels, and we will be opening our fifth one in November. And that will be in the Tustin Market area. Okay, so that's going to be the new development. People that are watching the yes. show, a lot of people know we got a lot of commuters that leave our area. And that's where, if you remember the big hangars, a whole big development there, and that's where it is. It's going to be right there. I actually yes. saw PetSmart being built there, so mm -hmm. I actually traveled that highway too. One of the toll roads goes right in that area. So where are we today? We're in Whittier, California, and we're at the PetSmart Pets Hotel. Uh, Cindy, I've got to ask you, when I bring the dogs in, uh, what am I, do I, should I have any anxiety about it at all? No, everybody here is very well trained. We have, they have to be trained in order to go in. They are safety certified. Um, everybody here knows there's, there's a lot going on, but everybody is very trained and knows what's going on in there. So you walk in, uh, they'll greet you at the door that you've already had your reservation made. So they'll double check that all your vaccinations are current. Yeah. No pet is allowed in there without current vaccinations. So everybody has to be current on those. And um, then we process you through, make sure that there's no injuries or anything to your pet. Double check, uh, make sure that there's a good health. So when we check him in, we know that he, if there's any minor injuries, we'll note it on our chart so we know what to look for and how to treat your pet. Uh, hip problems, do you let us know? We can give you an extra cot in there. Um, so it's so difficult here to try to explain this, but... Um, but you make them feel at home. We make them feel at home. Everybody My anxiety hasn't been so much when I saw this facility from... I'm this is I'm sold. We're going to do this all the time. It's what is my pet going to think? Well, your pet will probably think it's like in a little kindergarten area here. You, the minute you walk in, they're going to greet your pet. That's right. the first person they're going to check. <laughs> well, we're going to go in. We're going to take a look at the reception area where they check in. We're going to take a look at the facility, and we're going to see about some of the animals. Everybody stay with us. We're right here in Whittier, California. Whittier Boulevard at Santa Gertrudis at the Woodwood Center. I'm Jim Hall. And why are we here? All because you ought to know. Well, they do have the treats and this is a place to check in. We're in the lobby of the PetSmart Pets Hotel. I'm Jim Hall, you ought to know. We're in Whittier, California. Whitwood Center is where we are, Whittier Boulevard at Santa Gertrudis. And with me is store manager Judy and our PetSmart Pets Hotel manager, Cindy. And it's time to check in. Boy, this is beautiful. Thank you. I feel like I'm checking in. Is this, is, that's the feeling you that's wanted, isn't it? That's the feeling yeah. we want everybody to have when they walk through those doors. If I'm comfortable, the pet's comfortable, everybody's comfortable. Everybody will be comfortable. What is the, uh, some of the things that you think about or that you have to worry about in this environment when you're dealing with pets on a regular basis? Before we check in or do that process, what do you have to think about as, as people working here? What do you have to think about with the animals? That they're pet lovers. Yeah. <laughs> they're pet lovers and, you know, that they're, we need to all, they all need to be safety certified here. There's cer certain certifications that they have to go through to be working back here with the pets. And what type of certifications are those, or what do you have to go through? You go through some training. Um, you have to go through knowing how to handle dogs, what to look for in a stressed dog, a, um, a, anybody who's uh, coming down, maybe coming sick. You want to check on the pet, an older senior dog. Um, in day camp, also the same thing, stressing out, dogs who stress out, what, what type of uh, signs that you need to look for, uh, drooling, panting and then we just kind of check them out and if they're stressing out we move them if they're into a quiet area mm -hmm. could be a suite 
or during day camp we will remove them out of there, leave them out for a little bit so they get a little adjusted and maybe try them again for the second half of our, our playtime basically, which is what day camp is. Okay. Well, let's talk about the check-in procedure because here we are. This is where we're going to do it. The front desk or yes. the lobby area. So what does it take? If I'm ready to check in, what are we going to do? You walk up to the counter. If you haven't had your, if you haven't faxed over your vaccinations or called up ahead of time and had us uh, check through your vaccination records, our associates here, our GSAs, will ask for um, vaccination records. You have to be current on your vaccination records before they allow you in. And then once that process is done, they will start, they will uh, verify your reservation, uh, what type of play times you had, your rooms, your feeding instructions that you want us to have, whether it's dry food in the morning, in the evening, mixed food, however you specifically design your pet to have your feedings. We do microwave food here. Um, other than that, we do do day camps. We see how we verify your day camp days. If you're playing, we do group play times, which is half hour group play times, day camp, which is a whole day of day camp. And individuals, if your pet is not very good with other dogs or you, a senior pet who doesn't need to be playing with other pets, we do do one-on-one -on -one, uh, play times with those pets. Okay, so Judy, I'm going to ask you, do you have a sheet available so we can go over some of the things and we'll talk about some of those. Judy, when I check in the pet, which I'll be doing here in just a couple of days, I'm going to be thinking about, uh, should I be thinking about something out of the ordinary for maybe my pet? As far as the routine is definitely going to change, should I think about the food or should the food remain the same when I come in? Your food should remain the same. I, I wouldn't, you Don't know, change, change no. that at all. And that, and you're, you'll bring in your own food. They will note it that you know you're bringing in your own food. They will feed your own food. If you're feeding the same thing as we do, it's all documented. There's nothing for you to worry about at that point. Okay. Cindy, you look like you were going to tell us something about that process. No, I mean, you can bring your own food. Um, we do have, we do serve science diet sensitive stomach in case you do forget your food. It's more of a, a transitional type of food that'll help them with their, without being too, a new food coming in, introducing a new food. So it, it wouldn't be as a hard of a transition, but we do recommend that you bring your own food unless, you know, uh, you do serve our food science diet. Okay. Now, I have some real options now with my pet coming in. There's different things that we can do. So we referred to the brochure. And there are things that, uh, for instance, there are different snacks or snack uh, treats or yes. different. Mm -hmm. well, tell me about some of those. We do offer snack Kongs, which is a uh, peanut butter filled Kong toy. Um, see That's the hard rubber or, yes. the, or the rubberized very, very piece hard. and you, yes. you put in the treat inside with yes. some of the uh, Peanut butter. Peanut butter with material. With peanut butter material, with exactly. Yeah. And then we also do serve as a uh, snack in the evenings, uh, lactose free ice cream which is a soft serve ice cream that you would find like at McDonald's and, and stuff, but it's lactose free and it's actually okay for the pets to eat. Well, <laughs> like I said, I was researching this and I talked to a whole lot of people and I went on websites and I ran across this and I told my wife, this is what we're doing. This is, he deserves this. Mm -hmm. And we believe that. Uh, but I can actually even call, I'll be in Hawaii, yes. but I can actually call and talk to my animals, yes, correct? Yes, you can. They will come in there and they will bring your pet out here and we will bring him into the office and put him on a speakerphone and you can talk to him all you want. Okay, well, should I do the submarine and the reef or should I call and talk to my pet? <laughs> so we do also have the bone booth that we have. Yes, we do have the bone booth. We can put him right up to the bone booth and put the phone up to his ear. But a lot of times it's a lot easier if you put him on speakerphone instead of holding the phone to his ear. So Okay. Love. But you called that a bone booth. Yes, which is right over here. In the, you can actually see it from in the lobby right there. Okay, that's the bone booth, and we're going to show you that one. Because that's, well, you can hold the phone up and you can talk to your yes. pet. Uh, a lot of people do that, though, don't they? Yes, they need they do. that. Does the human need that reassurance? Is that what it's really about, or do you see the pets respond to that? The pets respond to that. Yeah? As you'll see, too, and you'll see in our suites, a lot of pets are very comfortable listening to a TV. Well, All our suites have the TVs in them. I showed you the star at the beginning of the show in the first segment, and mine will actually be in one. We're going to see those in just a couple minutes, so don't go anywhere. Everybody, we're right here, Whittier, California. We're at the PetSmart Pets Hotel, and we're going to take a look at the suites, the atriums, and we're going to take a look at the hotel environment for your animal. Stay with us. We'll be back. Why? Because you ought to know. Welcome back to You Ought to Know, I'm Jim Hall, and we are what's in the inner sanctum, so to speak, because we're back where the animals are, 
and let's get some of the terminology right because you were explaining some of that to me. Pets are called... They're called pets, not animals. And I would be... You're a pet parent. I'm a pet parent. How did you come up with that? I mean... I mean, that's the philosophy. That's just the philosophy with this company. They're not an animal. They're a pet. Yeah, a lot of parents, uh, a lot of the pet parents, they, they, we treat them just like kids, like they were little kids, uh, and that's what we get the pet parent from. I mean, we don't consider them dogs, we consider them little kids. Well, they, and they are, they are guests here at the hotel, aren't they? Yes, they just are. Just like a hotel guest would be. Exactly. All right, where are we at now, and what are we looking at? These are referred to as different types of, of uh, and these are not kennels. They're not kennels, they're atriums. Atriums. Yeah, these are our small atrium rooms. Um, we have 300 and 400 rooms, our small atrium rooms for our smaller pets. We do have six by four, four rooms I, on the other side here, which are for our bigger pets, or if you'd like, we would put your small pet in there with some people bring in big kennels that they want their pets to sleep in. We'll accommodate that for you. Um, but we do have, these are called atrium rooms. So atrium rooms, does that refer to no matter what size they are, they're all atrium rooms? Exactly, yes. Okay. And then behind me, this is the ones where we have talked a little bit about because these these are the suites. Correct, correct. And we refer to those just as the suites. The suites. They are a 5 by 7 room um, that include a raised bed and raised feeders. They do come with uh, TVs that we do play dog movies throughout the day. Uh, they all rotate it around, but they the, the rooms are more of an enclosed room with um, the raised beds and the feeders. So that's what you're getting with your suites. And we do give them the walks in the mornings and in the evenings, and they do get their feedings along with that. So that's part of the suite? Yes. So that varies from what would be in the atrium here. Right, atrium rooms do not come with the cots. We do have spare ones if you wanted. You can request one and we can put them in there, but uh, cots are not uh, what is assigned for the atrium rooms, only the suites. Judy, you said I could bring my own pet's food. Yes. Can I bring my own pet's bed or something they're comfortable with that yes, they can yes. and a toy? Yes. yes. So if they're comfortable with something, I can certainly bring it. We'd have to look at the toy. There okay. are only certain toys that they are allowed in here. Certain toys may have a squeaker, and we do not allow that because they, the pet could choke if he tore it open. So we would we would let you know when you checked in if that toy was okay to be brought back here. Now there was something else we didn't mention when we were in the lobby getting ready to check in, but we can actually have the pet groomed or, or bathed ready for pickup when we come back as well. Yes. Actually, you can even also have uh, private training lessons. Private training. Yes. I can actually have the dog go through you some have discipline the... or training or of some form here. Yes. What type of training would I be looking at? It would be your uh, basic commands uh, or any or behavioral training also, depending on what your pet needed, basically. Uh, we do have pets that jump and uh, kind of take off, so they want more of a so they stay commands or that they don't jump on people. But our, our trainer would actually talk to you about it prior, beforehand to see what type of training you needed for your pet. Okay. Well, we're going to move on down the way here. And as we do that, these are the suites. These are the atriums. Yes. Um, if I wanted to, well, for, what is the average stay? The average stay of a pet here? About a week, seven days. Seven days would be an average. What would be the more lengthy stay? Uh, we've had pets here for a month. We've had a cat who was here for four months. Uh, more dealing with uh, their house. They just purchased the house and they had, had it renovated and, and so forth. So they needed a place with the cat. But we've had pets here for four months to overnight stay. So any, any you can even bring them in for the day. And uh, we, that would be considered a daycare situation where we, you brought them in. We took care of them for the day. Give them a half hour group play time, or if they weren't sure if your pet was not uh, social, did not like other pets, we would do an individual play time. That we can also offer that for your for your. Okay. Well, let's go down and look at one of the suites here, and this one. As a matter of fact, we've got this one already set. You see this right here already. In fact, it's empty. It's primed. It's ready to go. What am I expecting as a pet parent? I got that right. As a pet parent, what am I expecting for my animal here? Give me a, a daily routine. What would happen? Uh, we start. We have people who stay here overnight, but our first morning crew would come in at six in the morning. Uh, they would start their walks at that time. At six in the morning, they start walks and the feeding. So your, your pet would be walking around, and at that same time, we're cleaning out the rooms every morning. We clean out the, uh, the rooms, every pet's room. So they're out for their walk. We clean the rooms out, get disinfected, put their pet right back in, and then uh, once the walks are done, we start uh, group play times or individual or group play times or day camp. Which you should be seeing a little bit going on right now. That starts at 9 o'clock, and 
and that runs from 9 to 5. And at noon, we give him a break time, so your pet can go back to his room, have a lunch, ice cream, snack, whatever you like. And then once again at 1 o'clock, we start day camp again. So our day campers go in, our evening play timers go in. At 5, it's 5 o'clock, day camp ends, and we start the feeding for the evening crew, and then we start the walks for the evening. It's amazing. Judy, this is like summer camp. Yeah. Yes, it is. Do you ever get the feeling some animals may not want to leave and go home? Oh, we do have. We have that. Yeah, we've had one. Have one. You have one. I have one. Right. Well, we got to see the ice cream. I've heard about ice cream. Yes. So let's go see the ice cream. Okay. Here we go. Well, we are in the kitchen, and this is the soft serve ice cream. And this is what kind of ice cream? It's lactose. Lactose. So that means we don't have sugar. Right. So no milk. And it's. You can eat it too. I can eat it too. You can eat it too. I've got to sample this. I'm going to do it the old fashioned way. Fine. With my finger. Mm. I need a cone or something. Uh -huh. That's perfect. <laughs> That's good stuff. So the animals get the food. This is a kitchen. You can even microwave, heat it up, whatever it is. And we talked about a Kong treat. This is a Kong treat, by the way. Well, this is a small. Oh, there it is. There's the opening. Actually, the treat goes in there peanut butter and different things. So that's what they do here. We're at the PetSmart Pets Hotel, everybody. My animal's coming next week. Corky, Corky Productions, he'll be here, and we hope you'll see us here, too. We'll be right back to wrap the show up. And why are we here? All because you ought to know. Well, everybody, welcome back. You ought to know, and what an experience, what a learning day we've had here. Whittier, California is where we are. If you don't know where that is, look it up on the map because you'll want to come here to the PetSmart Pets Hotel. Oh, by the way, my animals are checking in. I'm a happy pet owner, and my animals will be coming here. This is where it is. One of the suites is going to be occupied. One of the atriums is going to be occupied. And yes, they're going to be getting special treats, Kong treats, and even ice cream. It's all here, Whittier Boulevard at Santa Gertrudis, but you can look it up on the internet, PetSmart.com, and you can get all the information you need. Oh, by the way, kitties? Yes, they have kitty cottages here too. I'm Jim Hall, and why did we come to Whittier and PetSmart Pets Hotel? Because you ought to know. We'll see you next time, everybody.